Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. Time for us to continue on with our adventure. We're going to do some open worldish type stuff in this episode. Uh, and we're going to start out probably in a bit of a different direction to a lot of people. By going east and then all the way around for the map fragment. We'll kill the dragon on the way down. Uh, we are going to pass through a load of areas on the way there. Because uh, I don't think we want to do everything just yet. I mean, we could do. We'll see how time looks when we're on the way down. Um... Yeah, let's just let's get the map uncovered because otherwise it's just really annoying in my opinion to have this big grey bit that just kind of comes across where we are right now. We can't do anything about the other side, but if we go and get this one, it just looks a bit nicer. So uh, there will be another grace on the way down on the right hand side. So just uh, kind of come down here and keep an eye out as we lay eyes on the frozen lake. Where are you, Grace? There you are. You want to make sure you grab this because we're going to be facing a dragon. Also, over this way is a golden seed. If you don't already have five, or should I say all of the uh, required ones, you can go over there and get an extra one. We're already on four spare. We already have the maximum amount of healing. Um, so, yeah, if you if you need it, I don't know what you're playing at. Hope, I mean, I, I hope there's a reason to have all of these spare ones at some point, but at the moment there just is no reason. Over here is a, let's go with fan favourite, um, Ash of War, Seppuku, this is a very nice bleed, or is it? There you are. It's a, it's a bleed based Ash of War. It's going to come from this way. Where are you? That's really difficult to see. It does go in a nice straight line along here though. At least it's fast. There we go, now I can see you. There we go. Um, as you can see we can summon here, it's because we're going to be fighting a dragon. Uh, probably is worth bringing the summon along. Just be mounted, and it, it means it is a dragon. Short spiral on. I suppose I could do it from the horse if I want to. Well, I don't really like being on the horse when I'm fighting dragons. Come here. Although you have crazy AOE stuff, don't you? Oh, oh yeah, gun. Stay there. Stay right there. Yeah, yeah, stay there. We're good. Just be careful of all the frost that it th throws out. Shard Spiral stunned you! I'm sorry, Dragon. Shard Spiral was just designed to absolutely annihilate you. Oh. Cool, so with that done, uh, we want to head pretty much straight south, and you should, it should be pretty easy to see the spire sticking out directly south, you can, it's right ahead of us, look, and that's going to give us, um, no it's not a sacred tier, it's a, um, I think it's a bell bearing, is it a bell bearing? Might be a bell bearing, could be both, we'll find out we get there, it's good loot, that's, <laughs> that's what matters, this is going to be good loot. And so far it's taken us four minutes. Maybe we'll deal with some stuff on the way over to where we're going. Uh, do we want to do that? Nah, I don't know. No, no. Let's, let's do world bosses. There's no invasions around here. I need to work. Oh, there is one, actually. There is one. None of these affect... That's interesting. None of, them are, none of the bosses around here affect it. Interesting. Uh, I thought there was something. Did it get a bell bearing? I think I did pick something up on the way through. Yeah, there, bell bearing. And a safety. Yeah, those both. Ha! Excellent. Flask. Uh, yep, use that. Bam, there we go. Um, and then... Get another point. That's the 40 bigger I wanted. Might stay there for a while. Keep the glass cannon building. 
spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger. Shall I share them? In Marika's own words. Oh, I've not listened to this before. I wish I had. I wish, I wish we weren't recording. Um, oh, there's so much. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to find a. Uh, I'm going to find some dialogue videos. Plus, I'm sure Vati video will have all of this done anyway eventually. Right, so. Uh, now we want to head pretty much directly west. We could deal with a jail on the way over. We could deal with the jail. It is overworld and it's not really going to want its own video. It kind of links into the fort a bit better. Grave of runes on it. Um, dogs are in the way. Come here. There we go. Jump over. Yum. Yeah, let's deal with the jail. Let's deal with the jail. Let's do it. Yeah, we're good. Uh, this is Vike. It's like an upgraded version of Vike as well. So you've fought this guy before. He's not nice. Do not show any mercy. No mercy for you. No, 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 no. Oh my god, your heal. I need FP. Told you, don't show any mercy. I've showed too much mercy already, clearly. We're good. Come on then, let's go. Come on, another round. Let's have another round. Oh! <laughs> your recovery offends me. What are you drinking? I was gonna say, you can't have another, he another heal. Oh, careful of that. Just a bit of an instant, then we go. Come on. Then. The beam on the uh, Lula's Moonblade is what makes it, though. It's just really good, because I can get you from ages away. Oh. No, 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 no. No, thank you. We don't want none. Okay, fine. Hold through it. Stop being a sod. Right, here we go. Damn it, I ran out of FP. So yeah, you can mess with their um with their roll with the shard spiral because they'll roll exactly when you cast it. So if you've got a bit of distance, it's just gonna hit them. Fingerprint set. It's almost a bit hairy, wasn't it? Oh, let me out of here. Okay. Um, so that's done. That's done. From where we are, we want to continue towards the west. See the big castle over there? there will be a grace just at the fence. Almost see it lighting up. Ah, some uh, smoldering butterflies for me. I'm gonna be losing here, but we'll deal with this later on. I'm just down here for the map fragment right now because it suits suits me. Um, it'd be much easier to orientate and go and get like dungeons and stuff done where we can actually see. Ah, uh, come on. I should I should get mined really, but I'm really trying to get the DPS up. Although mind is going to be DPS if we do decide to upgrade to a different spell. Hmm. Maybe. Many enemies, lots of stuff we can loot. We'll come around here and deal with it properly later. For now, let's just grab the map fragment. Add a stamina, it's not good. And this area is where you can farm Arteria leaves. They drop from, I believe they drop from all of the giants. I've just farmed this one right here at the entrance from this grace, and I know for a fact that drops Arteria leaves. So I'm gonna assume all of the, I think they're, I think they're actually trolls, not giants, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna assume that all of them will in fact drop the Arteria leaves, which means now you can farm the materials for the uplifting aromatic, which is a very nice and strong um, item to use. 
Uh, so dun 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 dun. There's a dungeon about here. We're gonna have to clear this eventually. We're not gonna do that this episode. This is mostly why I wanted the map. We'll do this. This is all kind of its own thing. This is where the way overlook is to get to this. That's the hero's grave for this zone. It's all very nightmarish. In any case, now go back to where we began. Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Now they're over here. We're going to head on uh, right here. Where we're going to have Tibby Mariner. It's going to give us Death Root. And it drops, I think, the Hel Helfen Steeple. Something like this. Anyway. Further this way. Yes, 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 yes. I believe we can take the drop here. I'm just going to stand here and laugh. Oops. There we are, with that done, we're going to fast travel back so that we can reset ourselves and change it to night time. Next up is a Deathrite bird. This one's actually very nasty. Um, they're starting to up their game in terms of the amount of um, HP and damage they do. So this is probably going to kill me. I've tried to this one a few times. And I don't have an amazing way to cheese this one. Um, I imagine there's probably some way to abuse the cliffs for it. Um, the the nastiest one I've got a great cheese for. We're gonna we're gonna, probably gonna use that, um, which is over on this side later on. Definitely gonna cheese that one because it deserves it. But uh, yeah, this one is can also be bad. We're gonna pretty much go down the same way. Um, that's because the uh, the big kind of spirity skeletons up on the top, they're not controlled completely by the mariner. They will um, still spawn and fire attacks off at us and stuff, so we're just going to keep on dropping off to the right. It's going to be quite close to it starts spawning now. And you'll know because the gate's going to appear for us to be able to summon um, our loot in. Here we are. It's coming now. I'm trying to shot spiral. I don't know if shot spiral would be good against this or not. So we're going to give it a go. I've not tried it on these before. It is good. Yes, it does get to hit them lots. Very good. Lootle, I need you to take some, take some heat for me, please. I really need a heal. Get off me. Come on, my guy. Yeah, there we go. Right. Let's get some. Just instantly aggro me, don't you? You want to be careful. This has some like crazy AOE stuff going on. Yeah, I don't need to hit by any of this. I had no choice. <laughs> oh, get off! Oh man, I hate these uh, floor flames. Do obscene amounts of damage. This is where I'm wishing we had Tish. Tish would be would have been way better for this fight, which means we're going to be upgrading Tish very soon. Whoa! Get out of the way. Shot spiral is not really doing the job, is it? This thing's just mega aggressive though, it just doesn't stop. Get off. It's very focused on me as well. I don't know how I didn't die there. Oh, I can't get away! 
I'm out of it. I said I'm out of healing. <laughs> you know, we're a few casts away. Let's just get some of this on. Here we go. Oh, no. No, I don't even know if that'll count. I mean, enemy fell came up. Yeah, we've got the runes. Cool. That's going to count. <laughs> oh, the explosion got me. We got the item as well. Okay. So we just got to make it back to the runes and we're good. That was uh, not my most elegant of victories, but I'm going to take it. Yeah. Cool. So that means now we will head on down to the Grace. My glass cannoniness is betraying me. At least we can still take a couple of hits, though. We're not getting one shot too much. Um, so it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Maybe all of this defense I've been uh, trying to use on my other characters was a lie. <laughs> um, right. <clears throat> so we can either take some... We can take some mind, or we can take some endurance, or we can take some intelligence. Let's take... Let's take mind. We need to, we need to cast a bit more. Um... And I really want to get Tish upgraded. Let's get Tish done. It is time for the real best summon to appear, I think. Um, but Lutl has been good, and I do feel like Lutl can carry us still quite far through the game. However, uh, the next two Legacy Dungeons, we've got to face Malekith, who is extreme, and we have to face um, Melina, who absolutely dominates defensive play. So... Not Mel not Mel Melania. And when I mean when I mean dominate, I mean as in if she keeps on hitting his shield, she's going to heal herself every time she does that. So uh, his whole haha haha -ha, I'm really defensive thing is not gonna work well. So if you're gonna bring a summon, which I recommend you to bring a summon for a millennia, you definitely wanna bring an aggressive one. So that means Dung Eater for all that I think Dung Eater is a good summon, is not gonna be a good pick for that. The Mimic tier is maybe okay. Maybe we'll try the Mage against it. We'll see what happens. Um, that'll be really weird going into the fight. You should have to go in with just the Catalyst on to try and actually encourage it to to cast. And you have to do it in the left hand, because if you do it in the left hand, you shouldn't use... Oh, maybe we can make this work. We'll have to test it. Batish should be probably be your first plus ten um, after the Mimic tier. Got to plus eight. I don't have a plus nine. Okay, well, it's fine. That'll still probably be as strong as Lutl. You'll see, you'll see. This guy's also quite good. He's like in a more of more aggressive version of Lutl. This guy was terrible. I haven't used the Bloodhound before. I don't know how aggressive it is. Because they stop mages casting too much. That's probably not that great. Uh, Lieutenant is interesting, but not very good. I don't like her very much at all. I haven't used the Perfumer. I feel. I feel like. That one is probably really good. One, two, you can tell as well by the the um, the amount that it costs to summon some of them. How good they are. One, two, four. So you're actually the second most expensive. I haven't used that. I kind of want to. Hmm. That'd be worth just to just to play with at some point. But no, we have no more um, plus nines. It's interesting. In any case. That pretty much closes out the episode. In the next one, we're going to be going through Castle Sol. Shouldn't take us too long. We'll get the Halligri medallion half that we need just from the top of there. That puts us in good stead for clearing out the last parts of um, this kind of northern part of the snowfield. And then we'll be on to the southern part. Because I think we're going to do Faramazula, which is over here, before the Halig tree. I usually do the Halic Tree before it. So we're going to see what it's like doing it the other way around. See whether it's better or worse. Um, so yeah, see you guys again soon.